In one of my previous manufacturer comparison episodes, I compared the silver Nissan GTR made by Hot Wheels with the Tomica and Majorette version, but that was the 2012 version. Today I have right here the 2017 version made by Hot Wheels, I have to say there are quite some improvements made with this car. So will these improvements and changes to the new casting match up with the Tomica version? Well, let's find out. Roll the intro. What up guys, Yifty here, back at it again with another manufacturing comparison and today we're gonna compare the Hot Wheels Nissan GTR with the Tomica Nissan GTR. Before I continue, yes, I have reviewed the silver version before, but there are some new changes to the 2017 version as compared to its 2012 alternative. Hence, I'm making this video and I won't be going too in-depth with the main differences you normally see on a Hot Wheels car and a Tomica car. Hence, if you guys uh, want... I suggest uh, you watch that video first or I'll put a link to the Tomica version, the silver version in the end of this video. Before we get to the pricing of the cars, let us look at the top answers from the previous episode. So here are your top answers and I think I agree with all of you. I think Major did a better job because of the chrome paint and the proportions are much better as compared to the Hot Wheels version. So I guess in the previous uh, episode, Major won. So will Hot Wheels be able to beat uh, you know, Tomica in this time round? Well, let's find out then. First, let's talk about the pricing of the car. For those who are active on my channel, I think you guys already know how much a Hot Wheels car and a Tomica car costs here in Singapore. But for the benefit of those new to my channel, a Hot Wheels car costs 4 Singapore dollars while a Tomica car costs 7 Singapore dollars. With the price in mind, let us now talk about the details on the car. So both of them, they do have plastic headlights, but on the Tomica version, it has that ice looking thing right there, which makes the car look weird. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, other than the plastic headlights, they both get the hood uh, tempo right there. And looking at the front bumper, let us look at this. Uh, I think they both have the grill uh, details right there and the GTR emblem. But as you can see, the Tomica version, it's printed much more nicely. Let me zoom in on that for you guys. As you can see right there, let me try to focus on that. There you go. You can see that the grill is painted silver nicely. While on the Hot Tools version, you can see there's some uh, defect right there. Maybe it's just me. I'm unlucky that I got a defect, but I don't know. However, the Hot Tools version, interestingly, the front sides right here on the sides, they're detailed black. While on the Tomica version, it's plain. Normally, when Tomica details their car, they go 100% and put all the details on the car. But interestingly, Hot Wheels decided to do something that Tomica didn't do in the front. So, in the front, I think the Hot Wheels one is better because of the, I don't know, the plastic headlight looks better and it has more details. And now for the sides, and this is where Tomica stands out for most of my manufacturer comparison video. And that's because Tomica's, of course, they have their usual suspension right here and opening doors i mean there's really nothing you can do to beat this i really like this but that's not the main difference i want to concentrate today and it's actually the side bumper all right so let's take a look at the hot wheels right here okay so side bumper you can see the side skirts it's black yes it's black and that's because it's part of the black plastic base however on the tomica version Yes, it's detailed black too, you can see, you can see it running along the side of the car. But what's interesting is, this black part right here is actually part of the metal body, and Tomica just decided to paint it, you know, black. So it's actually not part of the plastic base. Hence, because of this, not only does the side bumper actually run along here, it goes all around the car, you can see it's painted black here, so is the other side. And this part right here, you think this is part of the black plastic base? Well, it's actually painted black, I'll talk about this later on. This car is actually much heavier in the side not only that if you take a look at the windshield right here you can see there are no windows here i mean it kind of sucks i prefer if there's windows there but since there are opening doors there can't be any windows there this side grill right here this black part is a metal part but on the hot wheels version this window goes around the car and we all know that's not how it's supposed to be there's supposed to like be a uh, some side uh, grill right there which acts as a support of the window frame and nope so that's something uh hot wheels did that tomica didn't uh, sorry Tomica did that Hot Wheels didn't do. So I think it's safe to say that Tomica did a better job on uh, the Nissan GTR. So yeah, I think Tomica takes the cake when it comes to the side. And now for the rear. So they both have rear light tempos. They have a spoiler, the Nissan emblem and the GTR emblem. And wait, hold on. Does both of them have the GTR emblem? 
Well, if you look at the Hot Wheels version, interestingly, you only see the R emblem right there. No, there, uh, just a letter R. I don't know why Hot Wheels decided to do that, but on the Atomica version, it says GTR. You can clearly see it's printed there, GTR. I'm not sure whether mine is a defect or whatnot. Maybe you guys can help me out. I appreciate it. Like, did Hot Wheels really put just R there, or is it supposed to be GTR, and it's just not printed nicely? I don't know. Please help me out, guys. I'll appreciate it. But the Hot Wheels version did something do. Uh, do they do something. They have the Hot Wheels license plate. Well, the Atomica version is just plain there. So I guess, yeah, in terms of the rear, maybe, in just my opinion, the Hot Wheels wins in the back. Before I end off, this is just bonus, you could say. This is really just based on preference. But I really like the orange interior of this Tomica version. I'm not sure what made them do this, but I like it. Like you can see from the outside, it's orange. The car is orange. It complements the car very well. And I really like it. I would have given this car, you know, bonus points. But maybe some of you prefer it to be black. And I think most of you will because the <laughs> orange interior in real life, I think that, that would look really, really, really funny. So in terms, uh, just my opinion, I really like the orange interior and just wanted to point that out so in my opinion I, I i definitely prefer the tomica version i'm sure some of you still prefer the hot wheels version because it just looks pretty cool although it, you know it's maybe out of proportions or whatnot the hot wheels version does look cool but in my opinion i still prefer the tomica version hence with my new segment i'll actually be asking three of my friends which one they prefer all right let's go and ask them so which one is better, the Hot Wheels version or the Tomica? I think it's this because this feels more heavy. Feels more heavy. You prefer the Tomica version. Why? Is there any reason why? It looks much more nicer. It looks much more nicer. Uh, I like this version because you can see the inside. Ah. Yeah, so All right. All right. So between the Hot Wheels and Tomica at first glance, which is better? Uh, I think this is better. The Hot Wheels yeah. are white. Yeah, it looks nicer. The paint looks nicer, is it? Yeah. Oh. So you've heard it from me, you heard it from my friends. We all prefer the Tomica version compared to the Hot Wheels version. But that doesn't matter, it's up to you guys to decide. And so, which one is better? The Hot Wheels version or the Tomica version? Tell me in the comments below and I might give you a shout out for my next episode as one of the best answers. Anyways, that's it guys for today's manufacturer comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys missed out my previous video, don't forget to click on the top right. Or another manufacturing comparison, maybe the playlist, you can check out the playlist on the bottom right. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels and I'll see you guys next time. GTR, GTR out.